One, two, three, action! <laughs> this is Penny Lane in Liverpool, which is a trip down memory lane for some of us. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head he's had the pleasure to know. And all the people that come and go, stop and say hello. Unlike Yellow Submarines and Strawberry Fields, the song Penny Lane by the Beatles was based on a real place. And this is it, a short residential street in Liverpool. So this is kind of a reverential pilgrimage for me. And I'm gonna to attempt to do something here that as far as I know has never been done on video before. I'm going to hike the entire length of Penny Lane. I'm certainly not going to die of exhaustion on this trip. Penny Lane is only about a half mile long. It starts down in a leafy area near the University of Liverpool and it goes up to the other end, a more urban area, which is actually the area that inspired the song. So we come to a rise above a railroad tracks and that's where the environment changes and becomes working class Liverpool. Penny Lane is in a former working class neighborhood of Liverpool, but it's recently become gentrified. There's lots of nice cars and renovated buildings. It's kind of a trendy neighborhood now, due no doubt in part to the Beatles. Turns out my walk down Penny Lane was more or less irrelevant because to Paul McCartney and John Lennon, Pe Penny Lane meant this bus station right here. Behind the shelter in the middle of the roundabout, the pretty nurse is selling puppies from a tray. It's at the junction of Smith Down Road and Penny Lane, but the the road Penny Lane has nothing to do with it. They were referring to this, this crossroads, this little junction. And, and I think I can find the, uh, the barber shop in question and maybe even the fire station in question. I don't know where the banker on the corner was. It could be any of these corners. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs of every head.
According to Wikipedia's faultless sources, this is the fire station where the fireman likes to keep his fire engine clean. It's a clean machine. This location was confirmed for me by a local resident who said the fire station was closed only a few months ago. It had been in operation all the way since the 60s. And this is the church where Eleanor Rigby died and was buried along with her name. Nobody came. A actually, I'm just making that up, but it's the right kind of church for Eleanor Rigby to spend her final days. Penny Lane.